Coglin Cars Pace Car pulls off the racetrack. It's in the hands of two-time Daytona 500 winner Sterling Marlin. Current points leader here at the track left, Caleb Allison. On a turn four, green flag is out. We are racing. Sterling Marlin jumping out to the lead lead in the number one machine. He'll come out of turn four, he's gonna lead lap one. Cole Williams right there in the second spot. He got by Caleb Allison. Here comes Boyd Machine. Company fast qualifier Anderson Bowen. He's in the fourth, he's working on Allison. 81, Tristan Van Weerigan already off the track. He calls it tonight. Tough break for the 16-year-old from Amherstburg, Ontario. Tristan Van Weerigen already out of this event. Sterling Marlin continues the lead. Seven laps completed in this event. Reigning track champion Cole Williams riding the second spot. He's got current points leader here at the track. Caleb Allison, third in the 47. Allison's feeling a lot of pressure from the number six. Chicagoland veteran Dave Gentile Jr. Just behind Gentile, a battle for fifth. Point Machine Company fast qualifier Anderson Bowen's got a back bumper full of fellow 16-year-old Hunter Mays in the 13. Laps quickly clicking off, this time by 10. Laps completed, 134 to go. Second through six now, where he knows the tails, trying to figure each other out. Oh, we got trouble, Caleb Allison goes around. Caution flag will fly. Caleb Allison and Dave Gentile Jr. getting together over in turns three and four. Sterling Marlin, your leader of the number one. Cole Williams, second to 46. Dave Gentile Jr., third to six. Anderson Bowen, fourth to the 29. Hunter Bays rounding up the top five into 13. Marlin and Williams lead them on a turn, three and four. Chief starter Brian Duncan's got the green flag in the air. We're back underway, working on lap 17. Williams working the outside lane in the 46 car. He's got Anderson Bourne right on his back bumper. Coming out of turn number four, lap 18. New leader, Cole Williams in the 46. Anderson Bowen trying to follow the round. Sterling Marlin, they go into turns three and four. Your Boyd Machine Company fast qualifier started fifth, working his way up into second spot. Give second spot to Bowen in the number 29. Shuffling your early race leader, Sterling Marlin to third. Dave Gentile, Jr.'s fourth. The balance for fifth. The 13 of Hunter Basie and Ina Garrett Jones. Give Jones a fifth spot. Right behind the 14-year-old Jones, here comes 13-year-old Harrison Burton to the number 12. He'll go to the outside of 16-year-old Hunter Mays. That is for the sixth spot. Garrett Jones, the fifth, the battle is for six. The 12 of Harrison Burton, the 13 of Hunter Mays. For that sixth spot, just in front of him now, Miss the Indiana Garrett Jones is his fifth. 22 laps completed. Working lap 26 that time by as Cole Williams continues to show the way. Anderson Bowen riding in the second spot in the 29. He's feeling pressure now for the number one of Sterling Marlin as they work on lap 27. Top four cars running nose to tail, led by the 46 of Cole Williams, the 29 of Anderson Bowen, the one of Sterling Marlin, the six of Dave Gentile Jr. But a call into two back is the 88 of Garrett Jones. Hunter Baines has finally gotten away from Harrison Burton, and so did Chad Finley in the 42, shuffling Burton back to eighth. Dakota Stroop is ninth to the 47. Dominic Van Wergen rounding up the top 10 to the five. 
Back in the field, Matt Wallace is 11th in the sixth. The four, Dalton Armstrong is running 12th. The 54, Jake Griffin, 13th. The 20, Cole Rouse is 14th. And the 28, Grant Quinlan in the 15th position, feeling lots of pressure from the zero, Josh Nelms. completed that time by, make it 32 this time by. 18 year old Cole Williams continues the lead, number 46. Anderson Bowen content with running in second for now, the 29 machine. Top five, got to nine, almost top, make it top 11. Running nose to tail around Evan and I-44 Speedway. Armstrong, the full car, running in the 12th spot. But up front, Cole Williams continues to show the way. He picked up the lead on lap 18. He has led ever since in the 46. Boyd Machine Company, fast qualifier, Anderson Bowen, riding in second spot, the number 29. Earlier this afternoon, breaking Chase Elliott's track record here at Lebanon I-44. Gentile Jr. took a peek to the inside, but Sterling Marlin shut the door, going come in to turn number three. Field now content to ride, four now, working on lap 47, as the 46 car, Cole Williams, continues to show the way. Anderson Bowen riding in the second spot. The one Sterling Marlin is third. Dave Gentile Jr. is fourth in the sixth. Gary Jones rounding out the top five in the 88. Hunter Bays is six in the 13. Chad Finley, 17 in the 42. Harrison Burton still hanging on the eighth in the number 12. Dakota Stroop, ninth in the 47. Matt Wallace rounding the top 10. Got a right rear off the bat, but he keeps on going. This time by working on lap 50. 50 laps completed, 94 laps to go. 50 to go to the lap 100 break. As the field continues to click off laps. Cole Williams closing in on the back of the lead. Lap cars beginning with the 40 of Jordan Miller. Williams continues to show the way as he approaches Jordan Miller, sizing him up. Should catch the Breezewood, Pennsylvania driver another couple laps. He's got to be careful though with Boyd Machine Company fast qualifier, Anderson Bowen right on his back bumper. 13 car lead pack, running nose to tail. From Williams back to the 20 of Cole Rouse. Williams now closing in on the number 40 of Jordan Miller. Miller. The first car now to go a lap down, took us to lap 56 before we put a car one lap down. Williams still got a lot of real estate to make up if he wants to catch the rest of the back of the lead pack cars, beginning with the 24 of Amber Slagle. Trouble over in turn, number four, Chris Hacker goes around, caution flag will fly. 30 of the 31 starters still on the racetrack. Williams leads him on a four. Chief center, Brian Duck and the green flag in the air. We're back underway with the Mercy Masters of the Pearls, 144. Williams using that high line to his advantage. Takes, retakes the lead. Anderson Bowen second. Here comes Dave Gentile Jr. to number six. Gets by Sterling Marlin for that third spot. Marlin now trying to fight off a pair of teenagers, 16-year-old Hunter Bays in the 13, 
14 year old Garrett Jones in the 88. This time by 70 laps completed, 74 laps to go. We are approaching the halfway point of this event. Cole Williams is your leader. Anderson Paul is second. Dave Gentile Jr. third. Sterling Marlin fourth. Hunter Mays now in the top five at number 13. This time by, we're halfway home. 72 laps completed. 72 laps to go. Cole Williams continues to lead the 46. Anderson Bowen tucked right up on the back bumper of the 46 of Cole Williams. Following him around this 3-H mile here in the Shelby State. Battle behind the top five for six. The 42 of Chad Finley to the inside of Garrett Jones. They come out of turn number four. Jones with a slight advantage that time by. Jones using that momentum from the high side to keep that sixth spot with 80 laps completed, 20 laps to go into the break. Six of Cole Williams knows that Boyd Machine Company fast qualifier Anderson Bowen is right there. Bowen shows him the nose, then tucks right back in behind the 2013 track champion. Bowen with a run off of turn number two. He goes to the inside of Cole Williams going to three and four. Bowen and Williams side by side for the lead. Williams hangs on for that lap. Williams now definitely knows Anderson Bowen is there. The number 29, Williams kicks it up another notch. Tries to get away from Bowen, the 29. Time by 85 laps completed, 15 to go into the break. Cole Williams continues to lead the 46. Anderson Bowen, Dave Gentile Jr., your top three. Sterling Bowen is fourth, but now he's feeling pressure from the 13 of Hunter Bays. Josh Nelms get together in turns three and four. Nelms coming to rest in turn four. Caution, flag will fly. Josh Nelms in a zero. Joe Ross in a 27 getting together over in turns three and four. Coughlin Cars pace car pulls on to pit road. It's in the hands of Cole Williams in the 46. Anderson Bowen the 29. To lead him on a turns three and four, Chief Stunner, Brian Duck, and the green flag at hand, we're back underway. Working on a lap 95. Williams with a strong start in the 46 machine, Anderson Bowen, battle with Sterling Marlin for the second spot. With some distance between him and Anderson Bowen, the battle for third, the one is still the ball, the sixth of Dave Gentile Jr. Garrett Jones is right there in sixth, as is Hunter Bays and Harrison Burton. Chad Finley has to shuffle back as Matt Wallace gets by him. This
this time by, 98 laps completed, two laps to go until the, the 10 minute break. White flag in the air this time by, one to go to the break. Cole Williams hanging on to that lead, the 46. Anderson Bowen, second spot in the 29. Dave Gentile, Jr., third in the six. On turn number four, complete lap 100. Cole Williams, the leader in the break. One hundred laps completed. Forty-four laps to go. A lot of strategy being played out here in these next ten minutes. And Ronnie Williams is down there with our leaders. We'll send it down to there. Let's get some strategy. Ronnie, what's going on? Your leader, Cole Williams, very fast right now, but they've got a push through the center of the corners right now. They said no tires. They're going to get the car fixed during this 10-minute break. Anderson Bowling's crew debating on what to do. They're working good on the bottom of the track, but they're having a little problem coming off turn two. They're working on that right front already. I talked to Dave Gentile's crew. Dave said I'm riding right now. He said we're running 1490s and 15 flat. They don't want to do a lot to the race car. No tires at all for your third place runner. And Gentile says I've still got a little bit left. You see Sterling Mullins crew, they're going to gas him up. Sterling right now, very happy with the car. He's riding on the racetrack right now. And young Garrett Jones out of Pensacola, Florida, an 88 car with a great run right now in fifth spot. You see now there's going to be some wholesale changes on Harrison Burton's car. They've got the car up on all on the jack stand working on the back end of it they're a little bit loose coming off through the corners they want to get him tightened up just a hair and what about matt wallace deep in the field they said they're riding right now so the cars are up on the jacks a lot of the drivers are getting the crews to tweak it up just a little bit it's been a great first 100 laps and I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, you're in for a 44-lap shootout because after that last restart, we've seen the pace start picking up. The pack's just a little bit tighter. And right now, Matt, the track is changing just a little bit. You can see the guys. Cole is getting a run off the top of the track on the middle end of it and then coming off strong. The bottom groove is starting to work itself in. Gentile and Chad Finley, I noticed, was the two drivers that were trying to work that bottom during the early parts. Not everybody is showing their hands right now. They've still got some tricks up their sleeve, and it's been a great show so far for the first 100 laps. Cole Williams would have started 21st as he took one tire, but he has gone pit side. So Chad Finley in the 21st position in the 42 begins the group that took two tires. Following him, the 99 of J.J. Haley, the 28 of Grant Quinlan, the 54 of Jake Griffin, 24 of Chris Hacker, the 3 Brennan Willard. Bowen and Gentile leads them on the turns, 3 and 4. Chiefs under Brian Nook in the green flag in the air. We are back underway. Bowen with a strong start, the 3 wide for the fifth spot, the 13 of Bay, the 12 of Burton, the 6 of Wallace Wiser decides to back out. Anderson Bowen finally officially leads the lap. Keep your eye on those cars in the back of the field who took two tires. One of those two fresh losers playing well with just 42 laps to go. Chosen for the battle for fifth, the 12 of Harrison Burton, the 13 of Hunter Bays, the 6 of Matt Wallace, the 47 to Curtis Drew. Keep your eye on the 42 of Chad Finley, the 99 of JJ Haley. They are picking cars off one by one. The top two riders who took two new Hoosiers. Charging through the field, the 42 of the 99. Grant Quinlan trying to chase him down as well, the 28. Up front, Anderson Bowen continues 
Salina at 29, Dave Gentile Jr. second. as well. Caution flag will fly. Bowen would love nothing more than to bring home the green jacket and eight grand from the show me state out of four. Clean flag will back on the way. Dave Gentile Jr. keep it pace. The 29 of Anderson Bowen. This time by 129 in, 15 laps to go. If Dave Gentile Jr. has anything left, he's gonna have to show it here awfully soon. He pulls right to the back bumper of Anderson Bowen as he battles for the lead. Dakota Stroop is third, Matt Wallace is fourth, Harrison Burton is fifth, but he's got a back bumper full of Finley. Mike Sloan has worked his way to seventh, Caleb Allison in eighth, Cole Ross ninth. And Grant Quinlan makes his first appearance in the top 10. Matt Wallace taking a peek at the inside of Dakota Stroop. That is for the third spot. 12 laps to go this time by. Wallace and Stroop side by side for that final podium position in third. We done all trouble in turn number two. Chris Hacker turns it around. Caution flag will fly. Chris Hacker turns it around, coming out of turn number two. Bowen and Gentile leads him on a turns three and four. The green flag will come back and fly high in the air. We're back on the way. Outside lane trying to move with Anderson Bowen, led by Dakota Stroop in the 47. Trying to get by Matt Wallace. Here goes Dave Gentile, Jr. to the inside. 10 laps to go. Bowen trying to hang on. Oh, Chad Finley was all kind of sideways. He was running fifth. Now he's feeling pressure from Harrison Burton. Gentile, the inside once again, but Bowen trying to hang on. Dakota Stroop running the high side around Matt Wallace to try to reclaim that third position as the laps continue to click off. Wallace claims the third position for now. Dave 
Steve Gentile Jr. throwing everything he's got. The 16-year-old from Swanee, Georgia, Anderson Bowen, the 29. The laps continuing to click off. Gentile running out of time at the number six. 138 in the books that time. This time by five laps to go. Five laps to go for Anderson Bowen. Dave Gentile Jr. to the inside one more time. Matt Wallace is right there in third, the number six. The ballot is now for fourth. The 47, Dakota Stroop, the 42, Chad Finley. Four to go for Bowen. Gentile Jr. is throwing everything he's got. The two and the former Howie Little Memorial Rookie of the Year. Gentile Jr. is right there on Bowen. Two laps to go. Gentile the inside again. Bowen with the momentum on the high side. Two to go. Dave Gentile Jr. has one more chance. He'll go the inside again when the white flag comes out. One to go for Anderson Bowen. He'll go into turn number three. Come on, a turn number four. Gentile dives into three out of four. Checkered flag, your winner, Anderson Bowen. Dave Gentile Jr. second, Matt Wallace third, Chad Finley fourth, Harrison Burton comes home in fifth. And let's go down to the winner's circle down here. Matt Poirier has tonight's Mercy of the Masters feature winner. He's on the car, big A if you look for your winner, Anderson Bowen! Uh, you know, I feel like our car was really good. Uh, we were just riding right there behind the, the 46, not to, to burn our stuff up. And uh, I felt like I, I even had a shot to even pass him a couple times, uh, the 46, and I, I kind of got into him a little bit on the uh, on coming out of three, but I just got a little loose. But uh, I feel like it's just so hard to pass here. Yeah, I was really surprised about that. Uh, I didn't think uh, he would uh, just pull off like that, even though they had a flat tire or whatnot. They could have had plenty of laps to come back up, but you know, I'm, I'm really thankful for that. That, that sounds like a bad way, but uh, that really helped us out a lot because this track right here is just really hard to pass on with a progressive banking. So uh, that really helped us out a big bit right there. Yeah, it's all, yeah, these crate motors, you know, they got to have a lot of momentum to uh, just roll the corners and pass here. And uh, just more towards the middle of this racetrack in the high side, this is where most of the momentum you keep at. And uh, just trying to uh, get down on the bottom is really hard and try to pass somebody. So, and Heron to lead really helped us uh, a lot uh, uh, in, uh, after the break. Yeah, it's it's uh, probably the, it's the most I've ever won in a race. So it's uh, it's probably it's the most uh, highest winning uh, crate race, too. So, uh it's uh it's a, it's a, it's a nice win